Now on tonight's show, a very special guest who's also a bit of a riddle. Mm, right, he's a doctor, but he hasn't got an ounce of medical experience. No. He owns a police box, but he never calls for help. And he's over 900 years old, but he still has his own teeth and his own hair. Amazing. Who could it be? Well, all the way from Gallifrey, it's the doctor, of course, it's Matt Smith. Yeah! yeah. Oh, nice to see you. It's lovely to be back. Thank you for having me back. Thank you yeah. very much for coming. Well, it's been quite a weekend for you, Matt. Now, Blackburn Rovers managed to stay in the Premier League. Oh, God. Yeah, Good result. Was... But you narrow narrowly missed out on a BAFTA. Yeah, yeah, I did. Which I did. event were you more tense about? Oh, the football was bad. I mean, because, you know, with the BAFTAs, some you win, some you lose. Yeah. You know, that's kind of how it goes. But if Blackburn go down, that's a whole summer ruined. Oh, you, so. you heard on the way to the BAFTAs? I heard on the way to the BAFTAs. So then I got out, and on, the, uh, on like, the red carpet, it was, it was glorious, because yeah. I felt uplifted. Marvellous, marvellous. Oh, yeah, they stayed I'm sure, up. Matt, that loads and loads of Hoobians are going to be watching uh, tonight, but I managed to uh, offend uh, quite a lot of them this morning. Oh. Put a little tweet out saying that you, Doctor Who, it's coming on the show. Well, of course, you're not Doctor Who, are you? The Doctor. You're the Doctor who appears in Doctor Who. Was so there a backlash? Oh, honestly, oh, you can't believe it. Big oh, mistake. Mad. Huge mistake. Massive yeah. mistake. Yeah. Anyway, we know now. OK, so we really want to ask you what happens next Saturday in the episode, but you can't tell too much. Obviously, you might have to kill us or set some darling yeah. on us. God, yeah. But we will have a little chat about it later on. Beautiful. Good. Now, Matt, you haven't had a hip replacement. No. Uh, but you have had a serious back problem, haven't you? That, unfortunately, put an end to a really promising football career. Yes. So what happened then? What was the complaint? Well, I, 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 it came about as a result of playing too much football, I think, generally. I mean, I was at Leicester at the time, and it was number five, it is, for me, oh, which yeah. is, uh, it was the white tissue around my back didn't regenerate. Regenerate, there we are. <laughs> at, at the, um, at the, I'm that sad, that's really... <laughs> <laughs> it's sonic screwdriver. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, at the rate that it should, apparently, and it was called spondylitis. Yeah. Right. And um, therefore, it, it sort of just would have got thinner and thinner and, 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 and just kept thinning. Uh, and eventually it would have needed an operation in sort of my early 20s. So I decided against going down that route and, and uh, stopped playing football, sadly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Still active. One of them things. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I, I can still get about. Yeah. But although you have got a bad back or did have a bad back, you still do some of your own stunts in Doctor Who, don't well, you? Yeah, I try to do all of them. Good. Yeah. We'll have a little chat about that in a second. Yeah, cool. Are you a big fan? Oh, oh massive Jones? fan. He's the man. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's, uh, there's that great moment where there's that guy with the swords going... <laughs> Yeah, he yeah, just gets yeah, his yeah. guns out and goes, Phew. and apparently it's because they had trained for a fight. They'd done a big, huge fight for it, but Harrison Ford hurt his back and couldn't do it, so he just went, I'm just going to shoot him instead, and bopped him. No. Yeah. Good info. <laughs> but Vic, what a legend. And Vic Armstrong's book, The True Adventures of the World's Greatest Stuntman, is out now. Yes. And as we were saying, you, you have done your own stunts on Doctor Who. It must mm. be quite difficult, though, because as an actor, I'm sure you really want to push yourself, but you have to be sensible, obviously. Yeah. What yeah. type of things have you done, then, on Doctor Who? Oh, we do all sorts of stuff, you know. I mean, I mean, a great credit has to go to those guys because they take all the hits and do all the falls. But obviously, you do parts of it. You'll do part of a fall, or you'll land into it. Um, but I, you know, I, I mean, I try and do as much as I can because it, it, it sort of helps me mm. get into the scene. Is, uh, it, is it your decision the way you actually draw the line? Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, this is uh, falling down a scene. Now, in fairness, I've seen scarier slides in leisure centres. <laughs> 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 they built that, and me and Karen were like, "Whoa, you built was a, a you know a whole slide. And we had to climb up it and slide down. It was a, uh, but then it quickly wore off because we were in that goop all day, and uh, it, you know it was yeah. it was horrendous. Yeah. Cabbage in it and all sorts. It's quite a thud though at the bottom. Did you get? Yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't yeah. bad. It was hip all... replacement. It'll be you. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? Yeah, I'll be. All... <laughs> now then, talking of doubles, in Saturday's episode, we see two of you, yes. and it's a two-parter. The first one's on last Saturday. Can you yeah. give us? a little bit of background. Well, the Doctor meets his doppelganger um, in the form of, of, of a monster. Uh, however, with the Doctor, unlike anyone else, you know, it, it's, it's, he's sort of met his dream match because he's, you know, he's the, the cleverest and the vainest man in the world, sadly. Um, but we learn there's a great cliffhanger, actually, at the end of this next episode. Uh, I can't say about who. But uh, it's the biggest one of the season so far, so... Um, okay. I, I, it, it, and it's a whopper. I, I sort of really fell off my... Yeah, it's a real whopper. It's one of those... No. No. Right, well, yeah. we it here first. So let's have a little look. Let's have okay. a preview of Saturday's episode. Cool. <laughs> so I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. Uh, see, great minds. Exactly. So, what's the plan? Well, save them all, humans and gangs. To an order. Sounds wonderful. Is that what you were thinking? Yes, it's just so inspiring to hear me say it. <laughs> oh, come on! 
So, what now, Doctor? Well, time to get cracking, Doctor. Yeah. Do it once, and then a bit like kind of you guys have an earpiece in, and you have the, ear, the the lines replayed in your ear, and then you do it, and then you do it again. But you're doing it to no one, and you've got to match what you've done. Does this make sense? You've yeah. Got to yeah. Match yeah, yeah, The first version you've done. So if there's Doctor A, he says all his lines, and then Doctor B's hearing Doctor A's it must lines. Must take ages right? though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And that was in it was it was in the middle of December in castles, and it was shatteringly cold. Mm. Yeah. Are you quite because you, you do actually watch yourself back, don't you? You're quite pleased when you see that, then. Uh, oh no, yes. I mean, I, yeah. I, I think all actors have a sort of uh, a, a, a knee-jerk reaction to themselves, but um, mm. yes, rather shamefully, I do watch myself every Saturday in Doctor Who, and yeah. I enjoy them. I think they're good. It's good <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Now, amongst Matt's many claims to fame is his twelfth place in this year's GQ magazine's Best Dressed Man list. Oh, twelfth, twelfth. Yeah. That's good. Oh, okay. Okay. Very Marvelous. smart. Yeah. We've got a lovely picture of you, actually. Let's oh, really? have a look at this. Oh. Now look at that. Ooh, that's an oil. Yes. Yeah. Do you, have you seen that before? I have indeed, yes, yes. It was by a local artist called Sam. And he, I mean, I didn't actually sit for the portrait. He just took a picture. But, um, oh, there we are, yeah, well. Yeah, well, we yeah. hear that the National Portrait Gallery are yeah. interested in that. Not so sure they'll be interested in this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seen that one before, right? I know, yes, and they've been very generous to my upper body, I must say. Yeah, good. Very nice. Perfect. Now, you must have been offered absolutely loads of roles, um, but one you did earlier this year was you played um, gay man Christopher Isherwood. Didn't yeah. You? you had brilliant, brilliant reviews for that. Why did you choose the role? Well, yeah, you know, the, the, it, it was the script primarily. It was, it was brilliant, and um, it was a very varied part from the Doctor, and I think, as always, it's, it, it starts with the script, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, you're 28 now. Are you going to hang around playing the Doctor for a bit longer? Are you going to... Is Hollywood beckoning? I'm oh, forgetting loads of Well, office. if it is, then I'm not aware of it. But, um, right. yeah, I, hey, I wouldn't mind going to live in a hot country and eat my breakfast by a pool. That'd be nice, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, for the foreseeable future, I'm, I'm focused on Doctor Who. The next series? Yeah. I hope so. If, yeah. if not, then... I'm panicking. <laughs> no brother there, no brother there. Who came up with the idea of the bow tie? Uh, that's, I'm taking that one. Me. That's your, really? Yeah, and I, because, you know, I, I had the tweed blazer on, which was actually Piers' idea, the producer. Yeah. Uh, and I said, there's something missing. And I said, can I try on a bow tie? And they went, oh, yeah. And I put it on and they went, ah. Actually, it works perfectly. And so, do, um, do you yeah, tie it, it yourself? Uh, yes. You do? No, you don't. Seems, if you need I lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he taught me out to do it on Really? Yeah. No, honestly, it's not. It's not that difficult. Always goes back to Strictly. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite episode that you've filmed so far? Uh, probably Day of the Moon because we got to go to the States and I thought it was brilliantly ambitious. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay. Uh, we've got one here. Uh, it says my five-year-old daughter Saffron is an absolute huge Doctor Who fan. Um, she would like to know what monster do you find the most scary, and mm. what is your favourite monster? The Silence are, I think, the most scary. My favourite is either the Silence or the Weeping Angels. Okay. Okay. Is there more pressure playing the Doctor than mm. there is with other roles that you've taken on? Yes. Why do you say that? Well, uh, because it's so loved by people and it's, yeah. and, 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 and it's part of our sort of heritage and culture in a way that other parts aren't. And, um, yeah, the first couple of months when I took on the job, and, and obviously David was so hugely popular as well. Yeah. yeah. It's sort of, you know, you're going... Oh God! Please don't hate me, world. And and, and uh, but you know, it's a good pressure. Yeah. But when people think yeah. of the doctor now, they do think of you. Oh, that's nice. Honestly, yeah. thank you. Super, honestly, happy to tonight. Thank you. That's yeah. all for tonight. Thank you so.